Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Andy Satowski. And I'm Brian Blakely. And the Queen City News is your local election headquarters, and polls close in North Carolina in just about three and a half hours. But there are three precincts right now that are going to be staying open an hour later. Yeah, within the past two hours, the North Carolina State Board of Elections confirmed issues with a handful of polling locations. We listened in on that meeting where we learned that those polling locations didn't open on time because of issues ranging from connecting computers to printers to poll workers not having the keys or codes to unlock the buildings. While most voters did return later to cast their ballot, the Board of Elections did vote unanimously to extend polling hours by one hour for three of the impacted polling sites. So all of those are right there on your screen. Those are the Ransom Precinct in Columbus County, the Gaddy's Precinct in Robeson County, and the Saratoga Precinct in Wilson County. So let's go right out to our Daniel Pierce, who's live in Mecklenburg County for us. So Daniel, election workers there told you that even though these precincts aren't in our area, they'll uh, we'll feel those delays. Absolutely. So essentially how it's been explained to me is that the county can start sending some of their ballot information up to the state, but it's up to the state to ultimately release that information. And in a situation like this, the state typically will wait until all polling locations are closed. So that way they don't uh, sway the mindsets of some of the people that are still in line waiting to cast their ballots. Um, now, I've been told that the first round of uh, ballots that are going to be leaving this location up to the state are those absentee ballots, which as of four o'clock this morning came in at about 206,000. I'm gonna move out of the way and I want you guys to just see what we are going to be keeping our eye on. I'm told that through these doors, up to this desk. This right here is whenever uh, those 109 precincts, after they count uh, the ballots that are cast at their location, those boxes are gonna be coming in here and they are going to, this right here is kind of where we're gonna be keeping our eye on all that information. This is also the location where those mail-in ballots are going to be showing up. Now, I talked to the Board of Election officials at around 3.30. So far, outside of um, what has already been reported, there hasn't been any real major issues. They said that everything has been pretty steady, incredibly busy. Uh, and I asked if, you know, if they could compare that to uh, the past midterm elections. They said, yeah, it's pretty on par with those past midterm elections. Uh, of course, we're going to be keeping our eye on, uh, on this location, hopefully find out a little bit more information as we do get closer to the polls closing at 730 here in Mecklenburg County. Live in Uptown, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News. Yeah, going to be a very busy night out at MECBOE. Daniel, thank you. One